and I know that that is something. For the last four years, more than a thousand and forty days, Dr. Patrick Amoth has been in the provisional status of the Director General of Health and steered the country through policy formulations to multiple health crises, including the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020. But the question remains, will the captain finally be given the title? I, Dr. Patrick Amoth, do swear that the evidence I show in the foreseeable future I want, to, uh, uh, I want to have a situation where our health system is strong enough, resilient enough to be able to respond to any shocks. By this, I mean building capacity at our primary health care services. For hours, members of the Joint Committee grilled him on his suitability for the position, including his views on topical health issues. Uh, the Social Insurance Fund, uh, the current one, you call it SHIF, has replaced NHIF. Um, uh, as we speak, the initial implementation date has been extended to July, um, from July to October 2024. Uh, and on 12th July, the High Court of Kenya found specific uh, clauses unconstitutional. Now, in your view, what are some of the gaps in the implementation of this shift in policy? And if you were to do it again, would you approach it in any differently and how? One of the challenges that has, we are, has bedeviled the health sector is inequity, especially in deliverance of quality curative services. Our approach this time is different. We want to focus more on primary health care systems, which tend to be more comprehensive, inclusive, equitable, and promote solidarity. On the critical debate on whether health function should be reverted to the national government, Dr. Moth emphasized on the need for cooperation and consultations. My, my personal view is that devolution has fundamentally changed health services in this country. And I would not imagine at any given day of taking back such services to the national level. If you Maybe if you are now employed, appointed, as a, given the positions, what is that thing, the challenges? I know the challenges are so many. What is that thing that take you, the first thing in the office, you can take it up? And, uh, the first thing I think we'll be able to address, one of the biggest challenges we have faced as a sector is human resources for health. And as Honorable Senator has clearly indicated, this perennial industrial disharmony that not only disrupts services, but leads to loss of lives, and also makes us lose on the gains we have made. And because we have multiple cadres, this time is the doctors, the following time is a different cadre. I think that is something that I am going to embark on so that as a ministry we can be able to have a clear HRH policy. The National Assembly Committee on Health and the Senate Standing Committee on Health are expected to submit their separate reports on or before August 13th for consideration. Lilith Njeromotinda, NTV.